John Davenport here from Fogrobly.com with another Let's Edit video. Uh, we're once again in Photoshop CC 2014 and uh, this is kind of a follow-up video to the last one where I actually took this photograph into Topaz Remask 4 and cut out the sky and then I was left with basically just this mask here of the foreground and then I have a sky that's completely empty. So I've gone ahead and I've found a sky in my collection and I'm going to show you how to go about kind of making this match. You can see right now this photo really doesn't match at all. Um, so we have a little bit of work to do. The first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that your background layer is on top of your sky layer because you want to have your background, uh, your sky to kind of go behind your back, your foreground of course. So you want your background copy layer on top of your layer, uh, with which is your sky. Now, secondly, is you want to match your sky with your foreground in terms of color, temperature, and exposure. You can't just pick any sky and put it on top of any foreground because you're going to um, have kind of an obvious look to it. And this photo, um, you know, I've gone ahead and I, I've kind of picked this very quickly, and we're going to work through it very quickly. Um, the more time you have to spend on this, the better it will be. You just have to kind of finesse it and kind of work with the photo and, and get it to work for you. Um, each photo is going to be different and every layer is going to be different, but this video should give you a kind of an overview of the concepts of how to go about and do, doing that. So uh, what you want to do is kind of go to your adjustments layer and one of the things I'm going to do here is um, see what happens if I go into the hue and saturation colors or uh, panel here and I'm gonna try and just change things up a little bit I'm gonna drop the saturation down because I think uh, this photograph the foreground is a little desaturated it's very white and gray um, so it, it's just a kind of feels like it should the rest of the photograph should be like that. I'm also going to add just a little bit of lightness and as you can see I changed the hue just a bit to bring in a little bit more blue. Now I'm going to go back to my adjustment layer here and maybe play around with the color balance a little bit just to see how it looks. So I can add a little magenta to give kind of a sunrisey feel to it. Um, you know, if you're changing the sky around, you shouldn't really worry too much about any other edits that you're doing. Obviously, if this was uh, for kind of a documentary or, or news outlet, you probably wouldn't want to go about doing any of these kind of edits. But if you're just having fun in Photoshop, uh, this is perfectly okay. So now I want to go into my adjustment layer here and I want to go to my um, levels for my foreground. So I have my foreground or my background copy selected here and I'm gonna kind of just add a little bit more contrast and kind of brighten it up just a little bit uh, to add a little more more oomph to that foreground there. Um, that's a little too much there. So something like this and you can see uh, my mask if you remember before was a little bit um, rushed so you can see here there's a little bit of stuff going on um, and actually you know what if I zoom in here it looks like the uh, the background of my sky here is actually yeah those trees are kinda creeping through so I can bring this down a little bit more see what this looks like here um, so that looks a little better and then I can just extend this to the top if I want uh, so something like that uh, you know, it's it's a quick and dirty way of just changing out the um, the sky here. So this was my original photo, and then obviously with a couple edits uh, and a new sky, it's a different kind of photo. Um, I don't know if it's any better or worse. You can leave your own opinion below. Uh, but this is just kind of to show you the general concepts of how to go about changing a photo. And the big keys to look for are to make sure your exposure and your color tones are correct when you do this. Um, or you can just do something like what I've done with this photo in Boston. So I went ahead and I created this mask 
which I have turned the buildings to black and white but I've left the uh, water in front in color and then I've gone ahead and added a sky which was the same sky we just saw I added a reflection of the sky on the water and one thing that I'm noticing here is I have these um, things here but what, what I'm gonna do first just to see so and then I add a reflection of the buildings uh, and it kind of has this you know photoshoppy look to it of course uh, it is very photoshopped but it's also very in my opinion it's very artistic and very uh, unique in, in sort of uh, what you can do with these kind of things it's, it's kind of the direction you want to go um, in a future video I'll show you kind of how I went about creating these reflections uh, but I just kind of wanted to tease that here today. So anyway, thank you for watching. Have a good week, and I will be back again soon with more Photoshop and Lightroom tips. Bye for now.